On this week's episode of Ask Stan, we're going to talk about Windows 10 and its future on ARM devices, what that courier device may actually run, and what's the future of File Explorer? Will we ever see a UWP version? Stay tuned. Can Windows 10 ARM-based devices make phone calls and text messages just as Windows Phone? With the recent announcement from Microsoft with Windows 10 on ARM, there's obviously a lot of similarities between these devices and phones, specifically the hardware. So the question seems sort of natural, can these things actually make phone calls? It's a bit complicated. As of now, no. And the reason is the telephony stack that's part of Windows 10 Mobile is not a part of Windows 10 PC. But the long-term plan does involve bringing that feature over to the desktop. And this is all gonna be part of Windows Core, something our writer Zach Bowden has written extensively on. So you wanna go check out that article. The idea here is eventually the OS will be modular and parts like telephony and the telephone stack could be brought over. Now in Windows 10, you can already do SMS messages and you can see the phone app there, or at least it was there initially when Windows 10 came out. But you need a lot more plumbing in the OS to actually make those phone calls, but the pieces are there and they're coming closer together. As is, I'm not sure many people want to make a phone call from an actual laptop. Instead, I think you'll see OEMs like HP, Dell, and others create apps that let you connect your phone up to the PC and handle calls and text messages that way. That may be a little bit easier. Now, later on, we'll probably see new devices coming from Microsoft and others that do bend this category a little bit more, where making a phone call from them may make more sense. Okay, the next question is a two-parter, but related. Will Microsoft release a full version of Windows 10 for phones? And if so, will it be made available for devices like the HP Elite X3? And related to that, which Windows OS will Microsoft's future courier device use? All right, this is a really big question, but let's get to it from what we know is happening with the Windows 10 operating system. So Microsoft is making it more modular. And what we mean here is we already have one core. That's the base and the kernel of the operating system. We also have the universal Windows platform. That's the app layer that connects everything so you can run apps across all devices. But those are really the only two universal aspects right now to Windows 10. What they're doing is making the rest of it modular, specifically things like Win32, which is part of Windows 10 on desktop, but was never a part of Windows 10 Mobile. Likewise, with Windows 10 Mobile, you can make phone calls, but you can't do that with the desktop. That's because these are separate SKUs and separate builds of the operating system. So while they share components, there are also significant differences. What's happening though, is something like Windows 32 will be able to be pulled out of Windows 10 and separated. That means Microsoft can make a true UWP Windows 10 version for devices that need it. That means you could run Windows 10 on a phone if you want to, or specifically if a manufacturer wanted to. It also means that if companies want to put phone support into a Windows 10 desktop, they could do that as well. So there's gonna be a lot more configuration options. It's similar to how Windows 10 Mobile is today. That is, when a company gets Windows 10 Mobile's bits, they can do things like add Continuum to it. Well, if you think about that on a grander scale with the entire OS, that is what Windows Core is going to be. So it's gonna allow manufacturers to pick and choose the parts of the operating system that they want to put into the device to create new types of devices. Now, the second part of this question refers to Courier, which was a project that Microsoft was working on in 2009, 2010. It was a foldable tablet with two displays. And I said Project Andromeda, what they're working on right now is very similar to that method. So what's going on there in terms of its operating system? Obviously it's very early yet. We may never even see this device, but assuming it does come out, it will run Windows Core with Andromeda. So that means it's gonna have a Windows 10 base. We don't know though, as going back to the previous discussion, if it'll have Win32 components on board. Microsoft could put that on there, but it may not. Instead, it may run Windows 32 apps through app emulation. And Microsoft also has a few tricks up their sleeves for Windows 32 legacy systems that they'll probably detail later in 2018. I don't wanna talk about those right now, but they're doing some interesting options to build this future where Windows 32 is no longer needed. So to wrap it up, whatever comes out with Project Andromeda will be a form of Windows 10, but we need to get away from this idea of Windows 10, Windows 10 Mobile, Windows 10 Pro. Those will still definitely exist, but it's gonna be a very different system where companies can pick and choose the pieces they want. So whatever Andromeda comes out with will be a merger of Windows Mobile along with Windows Desktop. When can we expect a new universal Windows platform explorer? 
or a reskinned Explorer UI that will fit in with Windows 10. So we're asked this question a lot. I know a lot of people are wondering about it, which is when does File Explorer drop the Win32 design and go into UWP? And this is actually a question you can ask about a lot of components of Windows 10. Here's the short story. Every bit of that OS will be converted to UWP at some point, or parts of it will be removed that are no longer used. That means, yes, File Explorer will eventually become a UWP app. Now, having said that, File Explorer is a very key piece of software for a lot of people. Let's face this. If Microsoft screws it up, they're going to catch a lot of flack. So they got to build this very carefully. And there's a lot of stuff going on. First of all, File Explorer is tied a lot to the OS, so you can't just replace it. Second, UWP needs to come far enough along so that it can make all the connections. UWP is still very new. It can't do all the things Windows 32 can already do. So they got to build that stuff up. As those components come online, making a new File Explorer is definitely possible. But like I said, they will convert that over. But before they do so, you will see a new version of the File Explorer that supports sets. So that is the component where you can add tabs to File Explorer. It's a little weird to have. A lot of power users will definitely appreciate it. But you're going to see this conversion over the next few years. And there's still a lot of components to the operating system that need to be converted to UWP. But you can bet it will be done. So that does it for this week's episode. Remember, if you have a question, use hashtag AskDanWindows on Twitter or go to Windows Central and use our forums to ask me there. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Take care, everybody. Give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. <laughs> you. I can't, right? So, I know. What's an alternative to su subscribe? Subscribe. And don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe.